back in our grandmama and our grandparents' days, <laughs> great-grandparents. They wanted to honor God more than they wanted to impress people. See, the problem with Instagram and Twitter and social media, if there's a problem, y'all, the problem is we want this. We want to be impressive. And if I'm worried for our generation, <laughs> it is that we are impressive, but we don't have breastplates on. It is that we have the applause of people and our selfies are perfectly lit and we have a whole bunch of friends and a whole bunch of Instagram likes and people are following us and the enemy is thrilled because we have sacrificed holiness on the altar of impressing people. You gotta live for the applause of heaven. You gotta decide, I will not be politically correct before I will choose to be holy. I will not be impressive before I will choose to be holy. I may not be the, the, the person that everybody wants to be around. I may not be the most impressive, but what I will be is holy. Because a time is coming, y'all, where we are going to see our Savior face to face. And when we see him, he will not ask us how many Instagram followers we had. He will not ask us how many friends liked our post. He will not want to see the selfies that we took. When we see him face to face, he's going to ask us, did we do business with his son, Jesus Christ? And then, and then we're going to give an account. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking for well done. I want a well done. I want Jesus to look at me and say, you did the thing, girl. Not because they bought the books, they bought the Bible study, they saw the movie. No, you did the thing because you honored me. Whether with an audience of one or an audience of 30,000, you honored me. I came to tell you, brothers and sisters, walk with integrity. Be in the dark who you are in the light. Everything that your God has entrusted to you over these last few days, the enemy does not mind. He doesn't like, but he doesn't mind that you heard him. He doesn't mind you came here. What he minds is if you leave here and live by what you've heard. 